I am psyched this morning because I just added some real pizzazz to that website that we have been working on. That web page, if you remember, was just black text on a white background. But now what I've done is I've added color and that makes all the difference in the world. How did I do it? Well, I used a technique called inline styling. Here's our source code. Notice that I changed the body tag. I added a new attribute to it called style. And with style, I can alter certain aspects of whatever HTML element I have at hand. In this case, it's the body. So it will affect everything in the body. What I'm saying here is the background color is pink. Now the way that I do that is I look up what the attribute is. It has a particular name and I have to find that name. The background color just happens to be background hyphen color. Then I put a colon after that and then in this case, the color that I want, which is pink. Next, I wanted my text to be navy blue on that pink background. Kind of a red, white, and blue kind of theme, but red is too bright, which is why it shows pink. And the navy, the dark navy, would give me some good contrast. So I had to look up what is the attribute of text color and it happens to be color. So I've got color, colon, navy for navy blue. Then I looked at my text and it just seemed kind of small and I thought well if I increase the size of my text it'd be easier to read and so I said let's make it 24 pixels high. The attribute is font hyphen size and the syntax for specifying the size is a number followed by px that represents pixels. So by now you know that everything on your computer screen is made up of pixels, little tiny dots of light. And so by saying the size is 24 pixels. What I'm saying is the maximum size of a character on this line, for instance the C, is 24 pixels. And that increased the size of those characters just to make them easier to read. But I didn't stop there. You scroll down you'll notice on my H1 for the Bill of Rights. I've added some style. I want it to center that phrase, the Bill of Rights. And I can do that with text hyphen align followed by a colon and the word center. And I thought, well, okay, but let's bring some more red into the web page keeping with our patriotic red, white, and blue theme. But I want contrast, so I decided to try the color red. So, color, colon, red. And if we go out and take a look, I've got nice contrast there. You can easily see the Bell of Rights at that size. It stands out. I did the same thing to my heading two for from the US Constitution. Now if you'll take a look back at the page with me, notice that our uh, heading threes, our amendment titles, amendment one, amendment two, and so on, the style of the shape, excuse me, the style of the character, 
its shape is different. It's more simple lines. It's a font called Arial. So if we come down to our heading three, all I've done there is say style, font family, colon area. And that gives me this effect. Now, I had to, if we scan down a little ways, I had to add that to every single one of our amendment subtitles. Which can be a pain, but we're going to have two more podcasts on styling right away. And we'll show you how to get around having to repeat that style, font, family, Arial, or any other style that you want to apply in multiple locations on your page. Have fun.